Hey guys, welcome back again. I'm just I'm just gonna continue straight away from where we left the last time. So if you're with it, then just let's keep it going. So the next bit, of course, is um we just as you can see we had some errors here, so we're just gonna resolve that, right? So the next bit is a uh, an extension method. It's a public static class. And we can call it a block, a blockchain extension. So now we've got our extension. We just chuck in some methods. The first block is a, is a public static byte array and this will be generate hash and it will be this i block next method will be a public static byte array this will be mine hash and it will take i block and byte array difficulty So as you can see, we, we, we're moving on. So the next part, the next bit is, so it's also another, it's a public static bool lane. And this would be, it's valid. It will take And then we've got another one. Also a boolean is valid previous block. So it takes this I block and it takes I block and it will be previous block and one more method is a static And it's also a boolean again. It's valid. And this I enumerable. I block items. So as you can see it's very straightforward stuff. So now we will go into just working with the method. So the first one, generate the hash. Uh, we will say using SHA-256 um, 512 SHA-5 Sha five one two um, Sha is equal to new Sha 
So I have five, one, two managed. So we have another one using. Memory stream. ST is equal to new memory stream. And using binary writer BW is equal to new binary writer. So we pass in the ST for the stream, for the memory stream. So that's what we've got for here now. So the next bit, of course, is we say uh, BW dot write. So we say block that data. BW dot write. Um, block dot nonce bw dot write block dot timestamp dot to binary bw dot write block dot previous hash bw dot write um, actually um, variable str is equal to st dot to array return sha dot compute hash and star so that's what we've got for So what I'm going to, I'm just, see the blockchain class, I'm just going to copy it, remove it. And paste it at the top level class. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna do move these codes to a top level rather than nesting them. So I just move this to the top level. Yeah, so if you get any error like earlier one, just remove them to remove them from the nested class to the to, to the main top level class, and this should resolve the, the the issue. So we just continue. On. So the next bit, of course, we come to the mine, the mine hash. So here, of course, we we bang on straight away. So it's we we say if um uh, difficulty. 
is empty. Uh, throw a new argument null exception name of difficulty so if that's not the case then of course that we just continue from we continue with the mining so we say so bytes hash is equal to With a zero as the initial, and int d is equal to uh, difficulty dot length, and we say while um, it's not hash dot take d dot um, sequence equal um, difficulty so we can say that, that, that block dot nonce plus plus hash is equal to block dot generate hash so after that what we do is we return our hash so that's it we've got for the this bit here so now we go to the it's valid with a, with a block checking so it's valid with a block checking this is what we we'll do uh, we say uh, the, 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 the variable pk for the blockchain is a block or for the block block dot generate generate hash uh, then we say return uh, block dot hash dot um, sequence equal BK. So that's all we got for now. So the next bit is obviously validating the previous block. So this is what we do for for the previous block validation. First, we check if the parameter um, the previous block is not is now. If it's not, then obviously we throw new argument um, name of the previous block if not then we say variable previous for the previous block is equal to previous block dot hash dot generate hash and we return uh, previous block that is valid and block dot previous hash dot sequence equal to the prev to the previous so that's all we've got for here so the last but not the least of course with in terms of validating the block so we do here we will validate the block and this is what we do we set a variable which is a enum mirable which is equal to items dot to list and we return enum Mirable dot zip z 
script enumerable dot skip one dot tuple dot create dot all So the top order create, of course, we just not method. So we say inside a block. So we can say um, block dot item two dot is valid and block dot item two dot has uh, 